Hi everybody, this is Joanne, and as a histologist, I know a lot about blood. And actually, if you want to know more about blood, you can watch my series of videos called Blood Cell Bakery, where I use cookies to tell you all about the different types of blood cells in the body. But today's book is about blood. Specifically, it's about the very, very early transfusions way before we knew anything about antibodies or blood types or the type of reaction that the body would launch in response to a foreign blood being put into itself. So the book today is by historian Holly Tucker and it's called Blood Work, A Tale of Medicine and Murder in the Scientific Revolution. And this book follows specifically the rising uh, physician Jean-Baptiste Denis, a very ambitious man in Paris, physician who wanted to make his name for himself by performing the first transfusion between an animal and a human. Now uh, France and England at the time uh, during the scientific revolution really were trying to outdo each other. So when one heard that the other was doing transfusions they both tried to better each other and, but the problem was in France, there was, it was a very Catholic nation and there was just a resistance to this type of thinking. What would happen if a blood from an animal got into a human? Would that human turn into a mixture of a human and an animal? Would it become a chimera? Uh, and what were the um, religious implications for this, if this should happen? Uh, I really like how the book discussed um, various things that were happening in science at the time, not just the medical advancements, but also uh, those along with chemistry and astronomy. So uh, the book does have some graphic descriptions of how blood transfusion was done, and especially when it didn't work very well, of um, dogs yelping when they were cut into because of course they were. this was happening while they were awake. There was no anesthesia at the time. So two dogs trying to receive blood from each other would the characteristics of one dog move to the other dog? Would, would a mangy, sickly dog become healthy should it receive blood from a healthy, stout dog? And sometimes it happened and sometimes it didn't. Because of course, while humans have four different blood types, uh, dogs have about a dozen or so. So uh, sometimes there would be a, a good response and sometimes there wouldn't. Um, Jean-Baptiste Denis had the audacity, the gall, to go ahead and try to transfuse a madman with the blood from a cattle. Because he had had uh, some limited success with a very sick young boy and with also a barber in town. So he thought, well, let's try this. However, Jean-Baptiste Denis had some detractors who did not want to see transfusion move forward. So it turned out he was framed. And that's all I'm going to say because it makes the story very interesting. What I really enjoyed about this book was actually the very last part where Holly tells us about her motivation to write this book, to tell this story of how political um, machinery actually slowed down the advancement of science and how that is analogous to certain things that have happened in modern day life. So I suggest you read this book, learn a little bit more, um, hopefully you're not too squeamish about blood, and enjoy Holly's work, beautifully written book. I'm highly recommending Blood Work by Holly Tucker. Thanks for listening.